All right, we have Leah Marlene here with us today. We're talking to her from Nashville, Tennessee. You may have seen her on things like American Idol, and her music is definitely getting around. In fact, she's coming back to Central Illinois to do a homecoming concert at the Castle Theater. Leah, thanks so much for joining us today. Hello, thank you for having me. Absolutely excited to talk to you. Um, let's start out with this concert up in Bloomington. What's going on? All right, so this Saturday, the 7th, I will be playing at the Castle Theater in Bloomington. Um, my friend Fritz Hager, who is also on American Idol with me, will be opening, and I'll have my full band. We got four, four of the guys. We're actually in the heat of band rehearsal here, if you can't tell by the cluttered studio. Uh, we're putting together a really special set for the show, and uh, Fritz may or may not be joining us during, during my set as well. Um, I haven't done a proper homecoming show since my big show at the corn crib two years ago and so it's it's gonna feel really good to bring the full band back and and fully celebrate this community that has lifted me up so much and just be back with everybody that i know and love it's there's nothing you know it's way different when you're playing for people that like you grew up with than just like a room full of strangers so it's gonna have a different really special energy to the night that is so cool now you're from that area obviously talk about how it feels to you just to kind of be from there, grow up there, and then now you're bringing music back to all the people that you know and love? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I grew up in in North Normal, and um, from a really young age, I, I, I mean, I did my first performance at the Prairie Land talent show elementary school. Um, and then uh, I started doing like paid gigs around town from the time I was like eight or nine years old. And so Nor Bloomington and Normal have been incredibly supportive of me from a really young age, probably earlier than they should have been supportive of me. Um, and I've just always had opportunities to grow in my craft and play for people and, and all of that. So it's really special to now have come so far in my career and be able to come back and play uh, a theater like the castle where I grew up seeing all my favorite acts and dreamed of even being an opener there and now I'm headlining so uh, it's pretty surreal and it's just awesome it, it just really really feels like so homey whenever I whenever I come back because it's like so deeply ingrained in who I am and and why I am in the place that I am is because of that community and that upbringing. That has got to be just so special, Those that full circle moment for you. Um, huge fan of your music, by the way. Talk a little bit about your sound for those that maybe haven't heard you. They're now curious. They want to hear more about you. Um, Absolutely. Talk about your music and kind of, you know, how you would describe it to folks. Yeah, so... Well, um, this was always a tough question for me for a long time, and I think I've kind of figured out how to how to diagnose it. Um, I really grew up on everything, and I love all kinds of music. So um, I now describe myself as an eclectic folk rock artist, but um, eclectic is the key word there because I really have a lot of influences. But for for if I had to give you like a trifecta of artists to to dial down my song my sound into uh it'd be like fleetwood mac meets paramore meets casey musgraves with a little bit of radiohead in there too so uh, if you haven't heard my music that's like a good palette to to kind of understand it that's a fantastic palette i mean that that explains why i like your music so much <laughs> so very well <laughs> all of those great bands and um now let's talk a little bit about american idol um, you finished up um, third place, which is just massive. What an incredible accomplishment on that Thank national you. platform, really global platform. Um, what was that experience like and how has that changed your career moving forward? Uh, absolutely surreal is the best way to describe it. It is just the most like bizarre time of my life in the best way. And genuinely like the time of my life, I had so much fun on that show. That entire experience was like overall very, very, very positive for a variety of different reasons that I'm so grateful for. And, um, it's really completely changed my life. I mean, before Idol, I kind of, I was pretty much like living at home, really figuring out what I, I was going to go travel the world and like forget about music for a little bit. Cause there was a lot of other stuff. I went through it before the show. And, um, after the show now, like I'm able to do music 
full time and support myself. And we're still two years later, I'm still hanging on um, and still able to do it full time thus far. So um, like it's brought me just a whole new world of people that have been exposed to what I do and and the people that have resonated with it have stuck around and I'm able to tour and, and put out music and uh, make a living off of it still. So um, it's incredibly life changing in so many more ways than just that. But um, that's kind of the most tangible way that it's changed things for me. Well, good for you. And um, you mentioned in the beginning that uh, you're working on some new things. Um, clearly, you're in a studio surrounded by all kinds of uh, instruments and um, sound equipment. What's what's coming up? What's next? Can you give us a, a little tease? Yeah. So um, I've been on the road touring. I've been doing a lot of opening slots, trying to you know gain some new fans and some new places. And that's been awesome. That's been a huge goal of mine for, for this year and probably for a lot of next year. But um, I'm finally slowing down. The Castle Theater is like my last big show of the year. And I'm finally going to be able to come back and just be creative again. Because um, something that I don't think a lot of people realize, like I don't have a whole team. It's really, it's me and my mom doing all the work. Um, my mom's a saint and she helps a ton with admin and stuff. And um, and so like most of my days are just me on the computer from nine to five running the business. So uh, that's what the last six to eight months have looked like. And I really have not written much music at all. So I'm like super ready to just get back into writing. And you probably won't see much music coming out from me for a while because I'm not going to rush the process. But the process will be happening uh, for the rest of this year and going into next year. So. I'm excited. That's fun. It's, you know, it's it's something people don't think about when they're listening to an album is all the work that goes behind it, the time that it takes. And uh, when you get it right, it just, it changes the world. So appreciate what you're doing over there. Thank Super you. Super excited about your upcoming concert. Uh, before we go, let's remind folks of the details again. It's at the Castle Theater. It's coming yes. up this weekend, September 7th. Yes, and uh, I think doors are at seven. The Fritz will go on at eight. I'll be on at nine. Um, and you can get tickets at thecastletheater.com, I believe, and also liamarlene.com or just Google it. And uh, that's that's really it, I think. I love it. Well, Leah, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck with the upcoming concert. Good luck with the uh, uh, the writing and all of the music creation, behind the scenes stuff. Um, we look forward to what's next with you. And again, we're also going to have all of the details for this concert and where you can find Leah Marlene's music over on our website after today's show.